And I just realized that car wacky. No wonder nobody was watching this. We resharing it now. Ah, man, I gotta cut that from the broadcast. We'll fix that later, post production. Morning, morning. I'm live now. I can't, I can't, I can't. You right, you right. I didn't, I look, I didn't see you until after the turn, and I was like, man, I hope you didn't see me. Oh, that was bad. I realized I forgot my wallet where I last stopped at, and I was like, oh no, yeah, yeah. Panic mode kept talking in there. My bad though. Thank you, Nick. Thank you, Nick. That helps out a lot. I said a lot of things in the broadcast. We'll say it again. Kickoff time. That's gonna go right out of bounds. Sun's behind us. We're gonna go walk to the end zone. Let's start this game. Like I said, it's gonna be uh, for this one. We'll focus on this singular game, and then after that, we'll do wraparound coverage, going around the fields, going around checking games. We'll be in the middle there, similar to OC last week. Placement of sun is a big part of that too. See how it works out at least. Um, Beautiful day, high of 85 degrees, it's later for today. Low is 64. It's You can tell we're about to hit summer very, very soon. I feel it. It's going to be even hotter come August 7th and 8th when the OMFFL hosts the Charm City Classic. Looking forward to that here at Kenwood. Always a great time down here in the OMFFL. The Premier League in the DMV. Today's broadcast is sponsored again by Cumulus Socks. I said that at the beginning, but nobody heard it because I was muted. If you are watching, feel free to share, share everywhere. Sparks going right. Right down. Second down coming up for Venom. Venom last week, four games total. Fell to FOE in a rematch from last year's playoffs in the first round. Followed that up with a loss to the Long Island Ducks. Tough draw there. Top five team in the Ducks. We'll see them again very soon. We'll get back to that in a moment. Two tight ends, one back, two receivers, old school formation. Handoff going to that left side, turning up. Out of bounds. And a nice gain. The running game, very crucial last week, and their sole victory over Broad Axe in the wild card round of the C bracket. Twenty-eight to six was the final of that game last week. Venom over Broad Axe in the C bracket semis, or wild card rather. Venom would fall ultimately to AF Finn, the eventual winner in the C bracket. Man of motion. The fake almost got pulled down. Gonna fire it up. Is that a catch? That's a catch. First down, Venom. For those who just tuned in, we are live from Kenwood High School here in Essex, Maryland for the Maryland Venom in the blue and the Maryland Titans in the gold. Titans last week had a bit of a gauntlet by the end of that weekend. You look at the schedule they had, AFN, the eventual C-bracket champion they beat, a team that I felt like was pretty dangerous coming to day two had they had all their guys for day one and scored a victory. But that was a pendulum game. Titans got the win, sent AF into C. They followed that up for loss to Brick Squad, who had fallen to semis to Baez. Two tight ends back, whistle blown. Ah, uh, they're saying quarter. All right, no? Okay, I thought I heard someone say quarter, my bad. My hearing's the worst. Worse than my driving. Gonna back up a little bit. Too tight, one back, too wide. Side complete. 
and pull it down. Titans on day two beat up the Long Island Demons. That game was over before I had a chance to even cover it. And then fell to Rampage in the quarterfinals, back-to-back -back tournaments, so they fall into Rampage in the quarters. Rampage, the eventual winner. They are not here this week, I do believe. I can check the schedule. A lot of teams scattered about this week in terms of their players. Get to that in a moment. Sparks to the left. Turn it up. Signal that's a score. Yes, sir. And Sparks takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Venom. What a run. Try to get the best shot I could. I was a little zoomed in too close on it. And we caught the tail end, caught the big juke in the middle, the big move in the middle. Good to go. Venom up 6 0. And we'll stay back here for the extra points on indirect eyesight of us. Time has called. Take a second to let you know that we'll be live all day today. One game here, wraparound coverage, some red zone coverage from there. We'll try to at least, a little difficult with the way the fields are aligned. See how it goes. We'll just go back and forth, just me today. Not, we'll stick to one game at a time and walk away when it becomes a blowout. No real schedule, just make sure that we got the best action for you today. No other games right now on that field. It feels pretty vacant, waiting for one to start. One tight, three on the right side. It's gonna be offsides on the Titans. So Venom will get another chance. Hey Trevor, I would really like to see a uh, Maryland Venom versus West Virginia Venom game. I think we need to make that a thing. Like, someone needs to get on that. Maryland Venom versus West Virginia Venom. That'd be a fun one. Have them both face off. Maybe in the summer we can do a challenge or something. That'd be cool. That's a matchup that I think would be really awesome. I get another try at this. Plate. Seven nothing. Clearing 107. We're going to go over here to the Titan sideline as they take the field. Number eight in my B rankings, the Blunt Talk B rankings. A team that's made a lot of strides over the last couple of months, started to show signs of improvement. Offense turned it around a little bit. Different attack with Doc at quarterback. Coming down from A bracket, whereas of aftermath this time a year ago. Titans, long time team. We've seen them for a bit. First time I saw them was almost five years ago in the Mason Dixon tournament over in Hagerstown. They defeated the team I was with, too much talent in the semifinals. That team would evolve into what would become ADR, early, early, early precursor of it, and would go on to beat the Red Knights in the championship game. 
Hard to believe how long ago that was, right when all this began. Gonna run play middle. Hold right down, we're gonna keep it zoomed in. Hearing hold. Oh, right. Try to keep it zoomed in. I feel like the run play is gonna be pretty crucial in this draft. Both of these teams like to run the ball. Quarter's called, we're gonna actually get behind the quarterback, so that works better. Sun's this way, so we can't really face this way until it goes away. Sunshine ain't going away today, though. It's gonna be a hot day, 85 degrees here in Kenwood. Thank you, Ross Collins. I didn't see him coming off that side. Lord. Maryland Titans debuting a new center, a championship winner. He was part of the seventh place Red Knights team that won B in 2018 in Washington County. And a TBT champion last year, gave a fail. Complete. Snaps already working off. Doc getting to a rhythm early on. Let's go. Newest addition on the line, Taylor Suters, coming over from the fourth state. We've seen Suters for a bit. Started out with Survivors back in the day. He was part of that team, spring 2018. Joined the Red Knights, part of their B Bracket Championship win in Washington County in the spring of 18. Next time we saw him was with the Tri-State Spartans in 2019, as well as the Killer Bees that same year. Back on target. And incomplete. Hey, hey, that's Definitely had the blocks to make that work too on that screen. Join Team Blunt Talk and Warrior Nation in 2020. Won a championship of TBT last year, allowing zero sacks in the title game with the Killer Bees. Left side complete. We talk about how this Titans offense, bit of a turnaround offensively. Lock out, dock in, and as a result, different kind of approach, different attack. Seasoned veteran Doc told me last weekend he first started playing in 1985 or 86. Career almost 40 years at this point, complete middle. Ooh, that's a stiff farm. First of about four games today, I was going to try to do red zone coverage, but that's going to be tough with the way that's all set up. Let's we'll see. Not, we'll have another game. I'll let you all know when I come back from the commercial break at the end of the first game. One tight, man of motion, three now on that left side. My side to the plate, left, and pulled right down. Titans offense methodically moving the ball down the field it was a little up and down last weekend in Ocean City. Tough games offensively with AFN and Brick Squad. They exploded against Demons though. Really came to life in that game. Man in motion. That's that. Pull it down. Shut out, however, by Rampage in the quarters. That was a good Rampage team, though, last week. Just another bad draw. Like I said, day two, you never want to draw a league team. Because you always, because they, they already know you, they know what you're capable of. Other teams you usually don't see on the circuit, the ones you play day one. 
Like, there are matchups that can be give or take, but with league teams, it's all about familiarity. Especially a Rampage team that has been on quite a run. Number one right now in the B rankings. They came in my preseason number one. They stayed number one after the end of it. Have more coverage of them soon. They actually left side complete. And pulled right down. Here we go. Titans keep driving the field. They got flags out, and I believe it's going to be holding. That sideline was calling it. Looks like they'll get it. Yeah, I'm tap it on. There we go. So add on to the game. So far, both offenses moving the ball pretty well early on. I'm going to see how everybody responds to the Ocean City hangover. Something that. We, I talked about a little bit yesterday. We saw a little bit of it at Keystone. A lot of the teams come back. Only 30 combined points yesterday in that league between the six teams who played. It's offense is looking a little shaky, but here everybody seems like they're back. They're ready to go. Business as usual here in Nome if I fail. And I think a lot of that comes to the experience. That's going to be, oh, he took it away. <laughs> Touchdown, Titans. Wow, he took that away. Straight up took that. That was a that was a pick for a second, and then it became a touchdown. What a play! <laughs> so they're gonna go for two. Is what I'm hearing. Yep, two-point conversion coming. We'll stay back here, like I said, due to the sun. But damn, what a play. It's going to be 7-6, two-point conversion pending. Straight up just took that away. That's an excellent play. I get a good angle on it. We apologize if we couldn't. It was a pick for a second. And incomplete. And so 7 6 is the score. Venom will come back on the field. Hey, we got to stop them, yo. Sun's over there, so neither sideline is particularly ideal, but we'll go over here at least. Seven games today in league ball. Welcome back. We have seven today. We'll be live for as many as we can. Like I said, it'll be a case where we check the schedule. I was going to do red zone, but fields are not as even as they were last week in Ocean City, so I might not look as good as I did that one. So we'll focus on one, and we'll go bonus coverage throughout the day. We'll go check in on other games. Titans go down the field and score. They're up 7-6 early on. Left side. Pull right down. Move up the field. Seven to six is the score here in the first quarter, or second quarter, I should say first half. Two minutes finally caught, all right. Take a look. Bulls warming up over here. They showed out last week in Ocean City. Got to give them a lot of credit. They played pretty well. Not quite well enough to win it, but they did get a circuit win. Their first circuit game. They got a win over the 717 Elite. Played the bad boys tough. Played dirty birds tough. Yeah, I'll be proud of this middle screening. His middle passing on nowhere. Titans had that figured out quick. Oh, 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 oh,
Two backs, one tight, two wide. I'd expect a pass here. Looks like they got him off sides. I'm probably going to throw that one up. Oh, almost a catch. Incomplete. They should get the offsides either way, though. And yes, sir, that'll be an offsides penalty. Lots of flag football going around today. Glad to see everything's back in full swing, full force. Shout out to our brothers and cousins over there in St. Louis. Glad to see them kicking off. All love for the DMV out to the Lou. Hopefully, hopefully you get some coverage out there. Hope to see Preston and Skinny live today. Big shout out to them. Hopefully we'll see St. Louis come out here very soon to the east. Sparks, Texas, seven up. That's going to be Sac City from the looks of it. No flag either, so clean pull down. Never know the officiating sometimes. There's always a judgment call there. See. Tune in on Tuesday. Tune in next Tuesday night for the next episode of OMF Inside the OMF Fail. Um, we'll be taking off this Tuesday with no games this week. We'll just wait till next week to talk about everything going on this week. Restart a little bit and get going for week four coming up in the 2021 OMF Fail Spring Season. Sparks stepping up. Turn it up. Going down that left side. Pull right down. Third down coming up. Let's mention no games next week, Mother's Day. We'll be taking off. Anybody trying to get bump? Sure there's some going on somewhere. Otherwise, go see your mothers. It's Mom's Day next week. Shout out to all the moms out there in the flag football community. We have no coverage next week. We'll take off Sunday for once. It's different. Throws a little metal complete. Metal moving the ball. Talk about yesterday having a total of 30 points scored between all six teams up in Keystone. So far, both teams are on pace to surpass that in this game. Ocean City hangover is not real at all here. <laughs> Then I'm moving the ball. Bull's already there. I don't see their opponent anywhere. They got about 32 minutes, but I don't see anybody. I gotta check that schedule too. They got. I think it might be the one of the winners of this game, honestly. That's probably why. That makes sense. Shall see if anybody else rolls up. I'll check the schedule in a moment. Robbie takes a seven up. Going to the middle. Coming back to the pull right down. His mobility makes him a big time threat out there on the field. You give him a lane, he will take it. And he'll burn you every time. Key part of the offense in that position of quarterback. Venom a team that they've evolved over the years. Remember a few years ago it was Baltimore Hawks and the Chargers. Both those sides combined forces. Initially, they were the Thunderbirds last fall. But 
but it's changed the name to Venom for the playoffs. They play Elite. Bulls play Elite. Well, I don't even see Elite. We'll see. I'll check the schedule in a moment. Plate. Clock stops. 13 seconds is what I'm hearing from over there. So they had time for about two plays if they played their cards right. Three if they could get it. Depends on how quick it is. Got about 24 yards of space here to work with going down the field. Talk about how it gets a little difficult to move the ball when you get closer to that side of the field. A lot less space with more bodies in the area. Red zone offense is usually the number one killer of any offensive team. You can't ever convert into red zone, you can't usually win. Got to get this zoomed in real quick. I'll see what happens here. Left side. Robbie run. He might run out all this time himself, truthfully. It's been a while. He's going to throw it up. Go for it. Not Yeah, they're going to whistle it. I think they said he's down. Oh. So they're going to roll away complete. All right. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Wild play before the half. Robbie took all 13 seconds, but he threw it up. Had a guy downfield, just didn't get it. Waiting to see what they said. Whistle came in pretty late there at the end. So at halftime, the score is Venom 7, Titan 6. This broadcast today, sponsored by Cumulus Socks, presented by T Blood Talk, week three of the 2021 OMFFL. See, that's weird. I should not be doing that. All right, we're back. Second half. Usually, I have to take all privacy. It's supposed to get back my audio, but lately, it's not been doing that. I have to be a little funky sometimes. One tight, got about four wide. We're going back up, back up. Try to get a better angle on it. Left side, drop, take a plate. Off sides is the call. Today's broadcast is spots, today's broadcast of the Always Mills Fly Football League. It is sponsored in part by Cumulus Sucks and presented by Team Blunt Talk. Live for week three of the 2021 OMFFL season. Maryland Titans, Maryland Venom. Battle of Maryland. Two teams, very different weekends last week. Nice game. It's matchup with Titans. Two and two on the weekend. Wins against AFN on Saturday. The eventual C champion and the Long Island Demons on Sunday. Losses, however, to Brick Squad, who got to the semifinals on Saturday. And a loss to Rampage, who won it. Tough slate overall last week when you sit there and think about it. Having to play three top 10 B teams last weekend for the Titans. And a team that like AFN who usually brings a lot to the table. They were a little light in that game, kept it close though. Had a nice little veteran matchup of Doc versus Trail last week. The 
Titans always competitive, always tough. Venom last weekend. Tough weekend, but they had some tough draws too. FOE as a team has gotten better. They're starting to show a lot of improvement over the last couple months. 2021 is going to be a little different for them. And they fell to the Long Island Ducks. You know, Ducks were top five. They played in the GCFFA. They might be in action today. I don't have their schedule on hand. I know they'll be kicking off GCFFA soon. Nine man as a whole playing today. Sunday is our day. Left side complete. And pulled right down. Venom on day two, landing the C bracket. Beat Broad Axe, as mentioned, in the first game, 28 to six. And then second game went on to fall to the affiliate nation, 13 nothing, I believe the score when we cut off. Back on the throw, middle complete. Titans is matching number eight in my B rankings. That's what I got him at right now. So far in league play, there are two and zero oh coming into this. Week one, they defeated Elite thirty-four nothing. Then had a very competitive game with the Bulls, winning fourteen thirteen. Oh, oof. You hate to see that. Intercepted actually. That fooled me for a second. I was looking to that middle, looking to the right side instead. And that's going to be a Venom ball. And a turnover by the Titans. Sorry for the shot. In my head, I had the ball going middle. Next thing I know, it went right, picked off, taken away. Venom ball, sun looking this way. So a good stop for the Maryland Venom. Walk down the field. It's matching with the Titans. Beat Elite 34 0 in first game. 14 13 over the Bulls. This is their third game of the season. First in about three weeks. Through the COVID protocols where week two game got moved. And they weren't here last time we were here two weeks ago. Venom coming in, they're about one and one. Played the bad boys very tough in week one. Fell 14 to 12. Just fell short in fourth and goal. Came close to pulling off a major upset early on. But not enough in the end. Left side complete. Second game they went out and beat Elite by two scores. Let me just specify that's elite, not elite rebels. Some people are getting that confused. I prefer we call one just rebels and one elite. Although it's kind of the opposite in some regards for both sides. What's up, girl? What you doing? And that did not work out.
up, nowhere to go. Schedule for today, next game is going to be at about 10.05. We're going to follow the winner. We're going to follow the winner. So the winner of this game will have their game covered. That's the rule. It'll either be Venom Bulls or Elite Rebels Titans. Right now, Venom, they might get the win here and get their game covered. 7-6 to six is the score. So we might be here for a doubleheader of Venom, maybe another one of Titans. There's still a chance to catch Elite Rebels at 12-15. Other games going on, Bulls versus Elite. And Bad Boys versus Rideout. Looks like we might be heading out there. We'll catch that one at 11 10. That'd be a good one. And of course, Rebels Ride Out will be the final game of the day. So that's the schedule for today. We'll follow the winner of this one. And then we'll hit up Ride Out's doubleheader. And if any game turns into a blowout, we'll switch fields. Your blowout rule today is three touchdowns at any point in the game. Rather show you the best action here in OMFFL and not show somebody getting humiliated. This game has been competitive though so far. Seven to six is the score. Fourth quarter has eight to six. They went, oh, that's, yeah. When they came up, I forgot about the penalty. Okay, perfect. All right, I messed that up, everybody. I lied to you. It was eight to six. I misjudged the conversion, thinking it was one because of how close it was. My bad. This is why I'm the worst announcer in the country. Take a snap. Ooh. Out of bounds. That's a tight one. Fourth down coming up for Venom. This match in will play follow the winner. So Elite Rebels are coming up next. Again, I think I do see a couple of them now that I look over. Well, maybe not. I think it's just more bull players. So, no idea where the elite rebels are right now. They got about how much clock do they got left to get here? Is the question. I don't see a single one. We're just gonna guess ten minutes. This quarter just started. They got ten minutes in play time. Who knows how much? We'll, we'll judge about twenty minutes, give or take, in real time to get here. No sign of the elite rebels yet, though. Maybe they're in Richmond, too. Who knows where everybody's at? Ocean City weekend, the post-weekend afterwards, man, the hangover from last week. We'll see. So far, I don't see a single... Oh, now I see a couple. Looking down now. Got a few. Turn coming. Pull right down. Yeah, looked up the field. Elite Rebels, they got a couple. They got about four over there now. I was looking over and seeing the spot of them. So they're going to get some more. Need some more numbers. They got time, though. So at least they got something to start with. As long as they get here, by the time the game starts, good to go. Should be a good one between those two, Rebels and Titans. Venom Bull should be interesting as well. Like I said, we're going to play follow the winner today. And then we'll have... We'll have a look at the last two ride out games. So like I said, we'll see where it goes. It's still nine. Looks like they're gonna start about a yard shy of the first. So I'm gonna say on the line now. Yep, they're moving up the field. I was wondering for a second. I was like, Venom was too close. Now he's saying behind on the line. So they're going to go about 20 here. They got to get. All right. You did right by, yeah, by waiting. By waiting. Yeah. Whistle blown. Looks like. All right. We'll go back over here.
Look, they are still discussing the spot of the ball. Just the Elite Rebels some time to get more guys here. What's going on? All right, looks like we got to settle now. I believe it's a first and 20 from the way it looks over there. Hey, we're saying on the line when we were over there a minute ago. So now they're saying first and short. Yeah, now they're saying first and short. They said on the line, so I guess maybe just behind it. Maybe I misunderstood that. All right. We're going to go up here then. We try to say it's first and short. Let the first be right here. All the way over there. All the way over there. You can't see it. I should have gave it to him sooner. You had to get the ball. Yeah. Well, second. I think got to sort it out. Let's see, we got it. <laughs> Looks like we do. All right, back in action. Sorry for that delay there. Oh, dropped it. Oh. oh, man, he had that one. <laughs> that was beautiful. We'll, we'll move up a little bit, get some space. Second down coming up for the Titans. Seven to six here in the fourth quarter. You ain't stopped. You ain't stopped, You kept moving. Hey, Petty, what number you wearing, yo? Standings battle here. But Venom only got one game behind the Titans in the standings, so this is pretty crucial. A win here for Venom, I'll tie him up. Titans on top of the league with a 2 0 record. Tied for first. Venom trying to give them their first loss of the regular season here at league play. I tried to, I, I tried to, 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 I tried He was looking, so could have easily been picked off. Three thirty and running is what I'm hearing. Edison of third. So it'll be third. Venom said it's fourth. <coughs> but I believe it's three. Weather change will be a lot today. Yeesh. It's very it's been like fifties the last few days, but oh, it's beyond that today. Come on. Come on. 
Up the field! Up the field! Hold down. Let's see the ref signal. Fourth down is what I'm hearing. So we'll go to the line cam. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Hey, no, no, Capone, it's right here. It's right here. Hey, duck! Fourth down. So they're saying fourth. I got the pool. I got the pool. Got the pool right here. Two minutes. Two minutes has been called. So we'll go to the line cam. Let's try to get a shot here. White line right there. He's saying it's first down. No. Cat. No. Cat. Huh? First down. This field. Down Two minutes play. left in the game. It's fourth down. Fourth down coming up. The line is him up. The line is him up. Get him to this. I'm going to hang him up. I'm on this side. If you go on down, we use him on the side. He can't run early. Love him to death, but he can't run early. right in. Yeah. Old battle, they coming. See what happens. Gonna go back. Oof. So now it's a little, a little bit more difficult. Let's see if they can convert it though. Titans have been able to move the ball, just not be able to always punch it into this game. Got the score in the opening drive. Offense has definitely been there for the most part. These games move pretty fast though. Especially when you got two teams who specialize more so in their running game, which is a huge part of their offense. Something that's been a lost start and flag for a bit. In this new age of spread offenses and double QBs. Let's see, the line's right there, white right line there. About four yards back from where the Venom is. Doc. Oh, okay. Money. This is what legends do. Touchdown, Maryland Titans. That's what nearly 40 years of experience can do for you. Making that quick read, cross that side. Touchdown, Titans. This veteran team showing out today. 12-7. We got a winner in attendance. Good morning, sir. Enjoying your day off? Needed. Much needed, yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you? It's a beautiful day for ball. Good game going on right Yeah, this is perfect. This should have been, should have been last week. See the Titans picked up that uh, free agent center. Yeah, Taylor. He's with me on TBT last fall in KFFL. Helped me win a championship. Good blocker, a lot of potential, big body. Definitely has experience. From Greencastle, PA, making a huge ride out here to Essex. Got to give props to a lot of these four state guys coming out. Really proud of them. Doing a really good job so far on that line, too. Got to be blocked up in the air. Oh, my. Oh, I thought he had it. 12 7. And give it to Suter, the quarterbacks he's had to work with over the years. You take a look at the resume. He's worked with Andy Hoffman. He's worked with Chris Boone. He's worked with Keenan Pooler. He's here with Doc now. Young career for Suter. See how it goes. So far, looking so good. That line giving Doc some time. Worked out that time. And the score is 12-8 here in the fourth quarter. See what Venom can do. It's also blocked for Kevin Clancy as well. You got to think about it. Clancy, Doc, Boone, even Andy Hoffman. Taylor Suters has blocked for a lot of talent. Keenan Pooler at one point. An up and coming quarterback in the fourth state. Showed out last week against the bad boys in Ocean City. So 
Suter's after this. He's going to try to make his way over to Williamsport. He's got a second game going for the Warriors today. 132, two timeouts going on. It's OMFFL, Twan G. Owings Mills Flag Football League. The Premier League in the DMV, four state. A lot of talent here in Owings Mills this season. Probably going to run it. You get action like this every week. Circuit ball at home. Spinning around. Look at Robbie go. Pull down. No penalties. Nothing. Clean play. Here we go. Talked about it. That mobility is, is crucial. Yo, Twan. August 7th and 8th. We got a tournament here, Charm City Classic. It's gonna be big. Bring the Lou to Baltimore. I'm inviting you guys to come out here to Baltimore August 7th and 8th for the Charm City Classic. All the big guys from up north will be down here. All the teams down south will be here. Baltimore, Maryland, Charm City Classic, August 7th and 8th. I'm telling you, Twan, bring them over here. We'd love to see the Lou come out to the DMV. Balls are taken away, but I believe it should be down. I was about to say, that was almost a second takeaway by the Titans today. Yes, sir. August 7th and 8th, Charm City Classic. Going to be right here at Kenwood High School. If you want more information, head up our commissioner, Terrell Gordon, who will have the information for you. Terrell Gordon, always Mills Flag Football League, Charm City Classic. We've had main event here. We've had Strong Island here. The Punishers have been here. We love to have you here. I like to see the Lou come to the DMV. Spartans, Wolfpack, anybody, come on out. Sparks gonna be set. Rivers on the set coming in. Third down. Shout out Twan G and the Lou. They're kicking off today. Back in action in St. Louis are the B champions and B runner-up. We know they're going to bring a lot of talent. But like I said, Twan, Charm City, August 7th and 8th out here in Baltimore. A lot of competition will be here. It's going to be big. Robbie's stepping up. Titans calling for a flag guard. I don't know if it, I don't see a flag though. He's pulled down. They're gonna say he's in bounds, so clock should be running. Timeout is called by Venom. Winner of this game will have their game covered. We'll head over to their game afterwards. Will it be Venom versus Bulls or will it be Titans versus Elite Rebels? We'll see. Either way. That's awesome, Twine. Love to see you all come out here to out here to Baltimore. Charm City, awesome tournament. Any more information you need, I'll send it out to you, bro. Let me get a chance too after the games. Love to see you all here. St. Louis, they're growing out there. They bring a nine man to the West. They are the best in the West out there in the Lou at this sport. Right here, you're watching the best of the South. OMFFL up north, best of the north, GCFFA kicking off. Nine man is back at full throttle. You got other leagues, small rec leagues kicking off across Williamsport. Up and coming leagues kicking off at Shippensburg. They're in season. Nine man is back. Hopefully we'll see Maffle back in action. Shout out to our Maffle friends down there. Finally, they're getting some kind of momentum, but tough times in Southern Maryland. COVID hit pretty hard, man. Sparks, fakes. Oh! Yo, we got you on the hookup, Twan G. I'll let you know about that when you get here. We'll, we'll help you out in that. We'll help you out. We'll get you all set up out here, Twan. You and the St. Louis guys. Hope you love that picture. Ross's son is a huge fan of the Wolfpack. I'll try to get your jersey back too ASAP if you need it. Watch the ball. Hang on. 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 Hang
one tight, three on that right side. This Venetine's been close in these kind of games. Has not been able to finish them. Always competitive. That's going to be intercepted, however. And it looks like Venom will fall short again. That'll do it. Maryland Titans are your winner here in the first game of the day. They're 3-0 now. We're going to follow them to the Elite Rebels. Should be a good one. Titans and Elite Rebels coming up next. And on the other field will be Venom and Bulls. We'll try to get bonus coverage of that as well. But the final score here, Maryland Titans get the win. 12 to 8. They still got another one with the Elite Rebels. Yeah, good game to start the morning. Glad to wake you up here. I believe we are the first lead to kick off this morning here in Owings Mills. We got more games coming up. We're going to follow the Titans. We're going to showcase today on the number eight team in my B ranking. See how they do. Got some new pieces. Team's getting better. We'll see how this team grows. Venom, they come up short again on a top team, but they're getting better of each passing week. So we're going to head over to where the Titans are going. I'll follow them around. Joey Blaze. Got Elite Rebels coming up next. I will be in the top one or two. We'll see. All right. The guarantee. And hey, what was going through your mind on that fourth down play? Easy money. I do it too much. That's easy. Yeah. <laughs> Usually there wasn't no sweat in it, Joey. I just threw it up the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to put it there. They just got to catch it. Going to be a good one coming up. Doc versus TJ Holston. Yes, I think TJ was born in about 94. What year was that in your career? <laughs> he was born in 94. God damn. He's a youngin', yeah. I think he was I think 94 was the year. Oh yeah, I started in like 85, 86, I'm like yeah. 85, 86. Yeah, All right. Yeah. What TJ at? Because they about to go there. They're going over there, they're all warming up. Elite Rebels getting ready. It's gonna be a good one. Titans Rebels coming up. We'll be right Suiters, first OMFFL game. How'd it feel coming out here to Essex? Uh, it's quite a drive. I had like an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> nah, drive. I mean the field, the field. I mean, the drive's the toughest part. Good. That's the you toughest can, part usually. You can tell a big difference in talent. I mean, wide receivers snagging the balls away from corners. O-line's kick steps are so much quicker. I mean, it's it's good. I like it. It's good work. I need it. I'm trying to lose some weight. So. And we'll keep following Taylor on his journey. He's been around the block for a bit here in I man. Making his debut at OMFFL. You going to be on this one next? Yeah. Going to be a tough challenge. We'll see how you do with the Elite Rebels. A bracket. They are unranked in my last A rankings. But they'd be a close number six right now, if I were to say. We'll have Titans and Rebels up next. Today's broadcast was sponsored by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk. I'm Joey Blaze, and we'll see you soon. For some reason, privacy mode is not turning on my microphone when I start broadcasts. I don't know why it's doing that. It's a weird setting. Here we go. Let's get it back up. Second down coming up for the Titans. Battle of A versus B here in the DMV. Going to throw middle incomplete. Third down coming up for the Titans. Smashing Titans, number eight in the B rankings. Talked about them enough early on. They just got to win a few minutes ago over the Maryland Venom. 12 to 8, very tight game. It came down to the line. Looking forward, seeing how they do against an elite Rebels team last week who, I got to say, they really impressed me. Um, we, I talked about it with TJ. I wasn't sure what this team had after that first Misfits game. Looked a little rough coming in. Got to remember, though, it's first game of a tournament. You never know what's going to happen. They settled in right afterwards. They nearly knocked off the Lions, losing on a two-point conversion at the end. Doc going to go middle and complete. Oh, he better drops today by this Titans receiving core. Elite Rebels, they're going to be playing over in uh, AC. There'll be an A bracket ball, as mentioned. 
Fell just short against the Lions last week, but they turned that around. What's he doing? The next day, got a win against the High Rollers, 35-27. That was a big upset on day two. High Rollers were a top five team coming in. But fell out of the top five with that loss at number five position. Sorry for that. Just trying to get myself adjusted here and share it around. If you're watching, feel free to share. Doc takes it. Tipped and complete. And Elite Rebels will take over. Elite Rebels, like I mentioned, one and three last week. But a very tough one and three. They were in it against the Lions to the very end. Fell to the Strong Island Bulldogs in the semifinals. Bulldogs went on to win the championship. They're already in A for AC. See how this team keeps growing. Mentioned the alliance merged and formed with the old BC Elite and WAC Rebels. Just got to look at the WAC Rebels last year over in Maffle. We saw them get to the championship game, falling to the Blackhawks. This group, though, coming together and has taken what was already a solid group of guys and has put them on that A level. We'll see where they grow. It'll be a little different come AC. A lot more. We'll have the top two. Main hey! event and Punishers will be back for AC. I'd like to see how... Rebels and Misfits match up with them. Come Atlantic City. Holston takes it. Right side, pulled right down. This broadcast sponsored by Cumulus Socks, presented by Team Blunt Talk. Week three of the Owings Mills Flag Football League season. The Elite Rebels versus the Maryland Titans. Rebels in the black, Titans in the gold. Go over here. One tight, got about three wide. Also, he's got a bobble, it's gonna be a dead ball. Double sticks coming up for the Elite Rebels. Let's talk about the run Holston's had since that summer of 2019. Got BC Elite to the Charm City Classic semis, falling to Renegades. 4.30 and running. Clash of York got him to the semis, falling to Rampage, who would win the tournament. Renegades in that previous one were the runner-up to ride out. Team went on next year, runner-up in the summer showdown. Beating Team Blunt Talk, Gusto Land, Rampage, but falling short to Rampage in the championship. Incomplete on that right side. Fourth down coming. Saw BC Elite at the quarterfinals of Clash of York 2, fell to Aftermath, who were the runner ups as well. Bit of a pattern, just falling short to the team who usually wins it or is the runner up. Down at Nationals. They went and played a tough game with the NTB Wolfpack on day two. We had that game posted a few weeks ago. If you want to watch it, really good one there. I want to say they were out in the quarters at that event. I'm trying to backtrace where everything was that day in my head. I might be wrong on that, though. Might have been the first round. Rush coming. We heard a whistle, but I think it was on the other field, and now it's official. And it looks like it'll be Titans ball the other way. 150 and running, so back to the sideline we go. 0 0 here in the first quarter. Bulls and Venom underway over there. 
they started about three to four minutes before we did. So we're going to try to get some halftime bonus coverage and get a check-in on that game. For now, though, we'll focus on what's going on here. Maryland Titans, second possession. 119 to go. Right side and whistle down. Shout out to my guy Keith Giles. Him and Try Hard Sports are live right now. They got the Warriors, my guys, in action. They play against Broad X. I'm going to try to get an update on Bulls Venom in a moment. Right side, or left side rather, complete, and he's going to be pulled right down. Quarter has been called, so at the end of the first quarter, the score is 0-0 between both of these squads. Coming up next after this one, we're going to have Bad Boys versus Rideout. That'll be the next game. Bad Boys, number two in the B rankings. Rideout, they're in a bit of a purgatory. We haven't seen them officially on the circuit this year, at least this circuit year in particular. They were at Nationals playing B, got to the first round, eliminated there by the Maryland Titans. But usually that's a team that's always competitive at the DMV, top 10. So it should be a good matchup with them and the bad boys, a T a what well, is technically would be usually under normal circumstances, a top 10 matchup between those two. Should be a good one either way. What's that? <laughs> Dang. Sort of a rematch between those two from Charm City Classic two years ago when right out beat the old Renegades to win it. Good bit of that core on Renegades is on Bad Boys currently. Was there that day. So you got a bit of a rematch from Charm City Classic 19 coming up. Right now, though, Maryland Titans, they're tied right now, zero with the Rebels. And that's caught, that's caught. And here come the Maryland Titans. Imagine got a new center on the line, Suitors coming over from the fourth state. He's a killer bee in Keystone, a warrior though. In fact, he told me he's going to head over to that Warriors game against Unremarkable in Williamsport after this. One tight, four wide. failed big reception here come that Maryland Titans attack First down coming. Timeout coming. 
Battle between Doc and TJ Holston. Mentioned earlier, Holston born 94. At that point, Doc was nearly a decade into his career as a quarterback. Battle of new age and the old age, new generation, old generation. Two different eras, two radically different eras at that. You got to remember how nine man the sport of flag football was. You got to realize what it was when Doc joined. Nowhere near what it is today. This game has taken off and has gone to a whole new level. And it's amazing to see how it's all evolved over the years. Age difference between the two. Doc's nearly got 30 years on DJ. I want to say it's about 28, 29, give or take. Drop it back on a throw. And complete on that right side. Third down. Titans offense starting to stroll a little bit down towards here, but they're close. Definitely down here. Red zone are usually the hardest to play. You are in the offense. As I said, the field shrinks the closer you get to it. They're right down here, but not quite in yet. Shout out to you, Skinny. Hopefully you'll be out of Facebook jail soon. They got our guy Trey last week. And I heard it got you too. They're getting everybody these days on Facebook. Opening day next Sunday now. All right, okay. Gone middle, incomplete. So, Skinny's update on the Lou. They're going to be opening up next Sunday. I mentioned earlier it was today, but I believe they're going to move back. Hopefully, we'll hear from, see some St. Louis streams. Nobody else is playing next week. You know, we're off here in Owings Mills. I think Maffle might try to play if they can. I know that other leagues maybe are not in action. Keystone will be the Premier League next week. They'll have... All the games we'll have covered, four of them going on that day. I'll have about two. Keith will have two. We'll be back in Owings Mills in two weeks on the 16th for more coverage. Doc takes it. It's going to be on that left side. Let's go let's try to get a side end zone angle. Something that's better than this one. But not going to show the sun. So I'm going to try to get a limited angle. I'm out, it's called. Time out, time out. Where you at, Wayne? Here we go, Titans come to the line. Apologize. I was getting a little sore from all the pollen out here. Very warm day. That's our cold week. Hand off on middle. Old school Titan football. Touchdown, Maryland Titans. We're at 6-0.
Oh, Elite Rebel shot to say they had a pulled. They go on a touchdown. All right. He definitely moved that flag back. In. Touchdown it is. All right. So six nothing in favor of the Titans. That offense sitting at about 18 today in both games so far combined. Holding down the Rebel so far. Rebel's a little light though. They got the key pieces, but overall death, they got about 14 today. Got it. Seven nothing. I actually fixed that. Sorry about that. This wasn't the wrong one. Seven nothing is the score. And Rebels are coming down the field. We'll walk down. Second of four games we'll have for you today. After this, we'll have Bad Boys and Ride Out. A pseudo rematch from the Charm City Classic back in 2019. Go we'll ahead back down the field. Morning, morning. Good day. Good feeling for the Titans so far. Hmm. He had the ball. We had the one yard line. He had the ball like this. In the way the world ain't score. Snap come in Austin. Good shit. Pull right down. <laughs> Titans playing them well so far. Rebels come into this one about 1-0-1. One, oh, one. They beat the Bulls 22-12 in week one and then tied the bad boys at six. Bulls and actually gets Venom. Snap Yeah. Incomplete. Yeah, he Hey yo, I got it. Hey Right side, Halston. Come on. Yeah. Pull right down. Fourth down coming. Uh, I don't say Rebels might punt here. Morning, morning. How you doing? Everything good? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all got some water? Some water for you? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> What's up, How you man? doing? Good to see you. Hey! Seven nothing to score here. Thank you, appreciate you, man. Good luck out there. Try to get this zoom down. It is indeed a beautiful day. Lovely here in Essex, Maryland. Week three of the 2021 Owings Mills Flag Football League season. 
Lee Rebels in the black, Titans in the gold. Also on the left side. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. They said fourth last play. Now they're saying something else. Okay. They got Miss Hibbert. They got to start looking at the ref saying that. Let's see the sidelines. Not bad. Hmm. Let's go to the other side. Let's go. Hey, Pete, chip him. Side back. Down the middle. Go on middle. And complete. Would it be that talent, Bert? Second game of the day, we'll have four for you. Coming up next is Bad Boys Ride Out. Uh, that'll be followed up by, we'll follow the winner on that one. I kind of leading towards Rebels and Ride Out, but we'll see who performs by the end of the day. Hey, Shane, that tight end, Pete! Awesome. Four. Going for it all. What a catch. What a catch. What a catch. That's a first down. Ten. Big conversion there for the Rebels. We're going in the end zone. They're knocking on the door before half. Trying to tie this one up or at least get the lead. Eighteen sec eighteen's what I'm hearing. I think the field's actually back here is when the end zone. Nope, we're over here. Alright, I saw that cone. There we go. Right over here in the infield. Rebels trying to get one before half. Also takes it. Yeah, a little high incomplete. Second down coming up for the Elite Rebels. Elite Rebels unranked in my current A rankings. Albeit so far, I only have about 19th ranked total, so can't quite get beyond five. We're going to stick with that number. Only team in the top five from the OMFFL is the Misfits. They're down getting work in Richmond this weekend. 
Best of luck to them playing a five-man comp bracket. They'll be in action later. Bring one home for the OMFFL. They'll be back in action in two weeks. Right side. Excellent play. Excellent catch. That route running. That's a touchdown. Seven to six is now the score. So we got a one point game here in Essex. Double dose of the Maryland Titans. Right now they're on top of the league at 3 0. They just, just beat Venom in a tight one. Another dog fight here with the Elite Rebels. Every game's a challenge here in Ohm FFL. Only one that wasn't for them so far was back in the first one against the Elite. They felt they beat them 34 0. The Elite's got a double header today themselves. They got the bad boys. And I believe they also have the Bulls as well. Did a lot of talk in that one. Left side, a little low. Going to get in. No, incomplete's going to be the call. And the score is 7 6. Morning, morning, gentlemen. How y'all doing? Been good, been good. Get ready for this bad boys and ride out game. Should be a good one. Some familiar faces popping up. See what these men can do for years over in the fourth state and the circuit. Let's see what they do for ride out today. A lot of people making their way down here in OMFFL. Looks like this one just went to half. We're at seven to six. Today's broadcast and presentation of the Owens Mills Flag Football League is sponsored by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk here on Joey Blaze. So at half, it's seven to six Titans. Second half underway here in OMFFL. Elite Rebels trailing the Titans 7-6. to six. And the battle between an A team and the Rebels and a B team and the Titans. The Titans coming in. They're number eight in the B rankings. Out of 20 possible teams. Rebels unranked. Although they make a case last weekend in the top five. And pull right down. First down, we first and long. First and long. First and long. Part of the determining factor when it came to that fifth position for me was that tight was that Misfits Rebels game, in which the Misfits won 41-20. Despite the performance against the Lions, the next game, however, didn't discount that against them. Battle right now, in my opinion, between Misfits and Elite Rebels. No mercy for that OMFFL A team best spot. Can't forget about Rampage, though. They may have won B, but they are the last DMV team to win A in any tournament. And complete. Can we run back the line, please? Pause the line and run it back. Right there. Hey, dog. You can hear it hit his head. Everybody heard it. Hey, this, how long he been repping? Man, I'm about to go get my stripes off the top. I used to work at Foot Locker. <laughs> Second half of this game, Holston to the right. That's I believe that's going to be complete, moving up the field. And we'll go up the field. Okay. This game wraps up early enough. We'll try to get bonus coverage of Bulls and Venom. Otherwise, we're going to be here for Bad Boys versus Ride Out. Rematch from Charm City Classic. Got it. 
Austin, let's uh, down, see where they pull them at. Looks like they're above the line, first down. Got to watch Holston's mobility. You can make things happen out there. Head up the field. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. How are you? I'm good. Appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate what y'all doing on the field. About uh, four games left after this one. We got Bad Boys and Ride Out, as well as Bulls versus Elite. And then we'll conclude the day with Ride Out Elite Rebels. And we'll also have for you, as well, gonna be Bad Boys versus Elite. Off the hands, incomplete. Hey, hey, Birdie, I see you got your feet up under you today. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. That's all about you. No, it's it. That's a pass. Oh, oh, collision and complete, and there's got to be some injury. Yeah, there's one's up, but not the other, and we're going to give it a second. We'll give it a second. Bonus coverage will cut away while they're sorting out the injury. Let's go check out uh, Bulls and Venom real quick. There's quite a collision down there. They're still down. So we're gonna at least get an update on this game. We'll give you football. Try to zoom in a little bit. You're currently watching Bulls and Venom. Sparks gonna throw. Intercepted. And pull down. So Venom turns it over down here. Still sorting out the injury over there, but. Looks like things are going to work out. Hopefully both players are okay. That was a tough collision. We're going to get an update on this game at the very least. And with them coming down here, we're going to be able to turn right back around in a minute. I'm going to watch the game over here for now. See what we got on score here. Still looking. Looks like both sides he turning back. it up. They should be back in action. Let's get an update. Gentlemen, anybody know the score of this one? 6-0. 6-0. Who's up? 6-0 Bulls. All right. The Bulls is up. The Bulls is up. That's what I said. The I Bulls are two up. 2-2 today, baby. Yeah. 2-2 today. All right. Rebels back in action. Let's head back there. So it's 6 and off in Bulls over Venom. We got that update. Let's head back over here. Probably start off at the end zone here. Zoom all the way down. Get on that. There we go. Snap Holston. Stepping up. And complete and pulled right down. Actually, looks like they're going to mark that in the backfield. Yes, that's a sack. They said they got the pull. We saw the catch after the throw, but apparently the throw is not in time. So you take a look at the bad boys, they're warming up, they're ready to go. They've been getting a lot of disrespect in the media over the last few weeks. Keith Giles had him 0-2 in Ocean City. Jerome hey, says they might drop him? out of the top 10. What is wrong with him? Not no, a lot of people. Have... We still the Renegades, we just got a different name, bro. I'm telling you. See how it goes for the bad boys. Double header with a ride out team who while they're not ranked on either ranking I have for the circuit, they still haven't entered a tournament yet. So we'll see where they end up at. That team always brings it to the table. We'll talk about ride out a little more in this next game. Holster takes it. He's gonna step up and run himself. He's gonna come at me. Here we go. This guy just this guy can just go. This kid is a baller. 
that was good effort, bro. Good. He's going deep with the belt. 30 years of age difference between him and Doc of the Titans, the quarterback. Said to Doc earlier, TJ was born when Doc's career was nine years old. And the two of them tr cr crossing generations. It's good to see talent back in the day still playing. Always good to see guys still playing. Got to give a lot of praise to both of them. Both very key in their offensive attacks. Hosting the up-and-comer. Got a lot of talk and praise last week from Mike D on that live. Maybe we'll see them face off at AC. Right side pulled down. TJ's going to be hit on the side out of bounds. No call coming from the looks of it. Might try to say he was. And it looks like there's a turnover over there. And I believe that it is going to be a score. Bulls have just gone up two scores on Venom. They're up 12-0 right now. They're trying to get a win today. They're 0-2 in league play, having lost to both of these teams in front of us, actually. Morning, morning. How y'all doing? It's a beautiful day for ball. Glad to be here. In beautiful Essex, Maryland. Left side, touchdown, Elite Rebels. And the Rebels, they take a 12-7 lead over the Titans. And after the Titans went up early, Rebels started to turn around a little bit here. They're down, but they're up by five now. And it's been a very good game to start this day. Glad to bring you flag football coverage all year round. Here on Joey Blaze, courtesy of Team Blunt Talk. We are live currently. Paulson, going to throw. He got it. Beautiful on that left side. It's going to be 14 7. And so a seven point game right now between the Rebels and the Titans. And the Titans will take the field here in the third quarter. They're down by seven now. 14 point swing from where we started. Bulls are up 12 0 right now. Looks like they're about to finish that one out. Venom had a crucial pick earlier, and Bulls turned it around at the beginning of the fourth and scored. So Bulls up two scores in the fourth. Quarter called here. Rebels up by one score entering the fourth. If you're watching, feel free to share. We got a good one today. Elite Rebels, Maryland Titans. We had a good one earlier. Maryland Titans, Maryland Venom. We got a really good one next. Bad Boys and Ride Out. A team in, in Bad Boys, always on top of B. They've gotten guys who've played in A over the years, though. They're trying to make that move soon. Right now, they're number two in the B rankings. We had them just over Baez Auto last week at the end of the weekend. Talk about them a little bit more as we begin this quarter. They just played Elite Rebels in a tight one two, three weeks ago. 6-6 six, six was the final there. You know, they'll face off again later in the year. That's going to be a matchup that we should come to expect in playoff time again. And a very stacked MFFL. Throw right side. Going down fail. Got it. See where they say it at. What a play. They're going to say pulled down right at about the 14. And the Titans in response to the Rebels. That's the thing about Doc. 55 years old, you scale kick at him out. He will burn you quick. He'll read your defense and torture secondary. He's in, bro. 
He's already in. Down here, or right here in the red zone. Try to get to the back of it in a moment. Right side. Pulled right down. Not much of a gain, if any, there. Going to go back in the end zone. Looks like Bulls are down the field on Venom again. So Bulls should get the dub there. That should be their first of the season. Venom 0-2 today. They're looking at a 1-3 record entering week four. Rebels are 1-0-1. Lone win against the Bulls. Lone tie against the Bad Boys. Titans coming in. They're 3-0. They beat Elite. They beat the Bulls. They beat Venom. This is their biggest challenge yet so far, though, in the Elite Rebels. Going to go right side. Intercepted. Big time play for the Elite Rebels. Going down the field. That's about a one. That's about a 98 yard pick six. Elite Rebels touchdown. And after the big play down the field, two score lead now for the Elite Rebels. 19 or 20 to seven now. And three touchdowns in a row. This Rebels team showing why why they may be a top 10 team in this country. A lot of circuit ball to be played still. A lot of league ball to be played still. Gotta remember, we're about eight months away from nationals, but this elite Rebel squad, so far in 2021, has shown despite what numbers they may have, they might be short on quantity of players, but the quality of players is a great A. Great play on the defensive side. It's a pick six, 13 point game. Titans will have about one more chance to get something going, but that play was killer for them. Long walk down here. Bulls are up by two score. That case a wrap right now, barring some kind of comeback by Venom. Week three of OMFFL. We got about three more weeks to go in the regular season. Six weeks overall, and then playoffs. We'll play on May 16th, as well as June 13th and June 20th and the 27th. For a lot of teams, maybe one more week left to prep until Atlantic City. And then after AC, two more after that. So two to start, two between tournaments, and two after AC. Before we hit playoffs, playoffs will be on June 27th here at Kenwood, 18 playoff. Next game will be Bad Boys and Rideout. Holtz is stepping up. He's got that left side. Oh, nice miss. Nice move. That's going to be a conversion there for the Rebels. 22 to 7 now. So, 15 point game for the Rebels. I've heard 21 and I've heard 22 7. That's 22 7. I was about to say, I heard 22. So, 22 7 is the score, fourth quarter. Last chance coming up for the Titans. And if they fail to score here, we'll cut away, take a break. Maybe go check in on Venom and Bulls, but I do believe the Bulls have wrapped up that game. Battle of two teams that wear blue. Both of them are wearing blue, actually. So Rebels, looks like they're gonna go 2-0 and 1. Easily could be first place right now, if not for that tie with Bad Boys. Titans got to do something here. Down 15 late in the game. 
right side complete. First and long, here we go. Doc takes it. Middle and pulled right down. Five, five minutes, five minutes and running. Five, five minutes to go in the game. Doc takes it. And complete. Coming up next, we got Bad Boys at Ride Out. Bad Boys coming in, they're 1 0 and 1. Ride Out coming in, they're sitting at 0 1 and 1, actually. Doc takes it. And pulled out on the right side. We'll head up the field. Fourth down, fourth and like two. Fourth, like fourth two. down, so this will about do it if they can't convert here. Hey, fourth and short, watch the ball. Bulls Venom's still going. We'll check in on that one. And then we'll get ready for Bad Boys Ride Out, which is going to be right after this. Snap Doc. Play soccer plate. First out in favor of the Titans. Down the field we go. Try to get around everybody. I think we're gonna make it though. We'll stay back here. Left side. That's gonna be incomplete. It's 22-7, Rebels. Fifteen point lead for the Rebels. Two scores in the last few minutes. Prior to that, it was a seven to six lead for the Titans. Game turned around fast. Rebels scored twice in a matter of four plays. The touchdown play down here and Doc's pick six afterwards. Prior to that though, Titans had a lead. Played the Rebels pretty well, but it won't be enough unless they divert here. Down 15, fourth quarter. Here at Kenwood High School in Essex, Maryland. Doc takes it. That's gonna come right to us. Hey, complete. Yeah, these re these rebels DBs are playing excellent defense. On the one on ones, the rebels have gotten the best of the Titans in that scenario so far. Take a look at the bad boys warming up. Most hated team by. The media, not my media. We're cool with the bad boys. But Try Hard Sports said they were going to go 0 and 2 at OC. Predator Productions said they're going to fall in the top 10 at AC. A lot of a lot of hate being directed towards this bad boys team. They're going to, have to make a big statement against Ride Out next.
And that complete. And fourth down, and if they don't convert here, that should do it. And then we'll have, uh, well, I was say, one of the Titans players thought it was third, but it's fourth. Looks like that game just got called. Bulls over Venom. Right side, full right there. We're going to go back to the end zone here. Titans get a first, so the drive continues. They're shaking hands here. They're done. Bulls over Venom. Bulls are now one and two. That's going to be left side incomplete. They had a tough road though this month or last in the last month or so since the season began. Bulls since the beginning of April in that first week, April 11th, they've had to play against the Elite Rebels. They've had to play who's could be argued as a number six team in A right now. We'll see more after AC. AC will tell a bigger story. You had the number eight team in B in the Maryland Titans. They had a close one with them, played them very tight. You look over as well, Ocean City. They had 717 Elite, who's trying to become one of the uh, new flag football franchises out of York, PA. They're playing to get across multiple styles. Trying to get them on the map. Going to go up and complete. Bulls also played Dirty Birds. That was a tight game that came down to the end. And, of course, they went down in day two to the Bad Boys. So, if you look at the caliber of teams they faced, you have a top 10 A team, arguably, in Elite Rebels. you got a top 10 B team in the Titans. The number two B team in the Bad Boys. A team in 717 who's trying to become a new big time flag football franchise, transcend the different styles, whether it's nines, eights, fives. You can count them all. They're getting worked down in Richmond today. And of course, bad boys as well. Been a tough slate, been a tough month. But a good first win for that bull squad. They're one and two now. They got another one of Elite coming up. Oh, he should have this. Oh, ah. Oh, boy. Uh, that didn't help that I said he should have this before the play. He should have, though. That was six, and uh, Titans have dropped a lot of passes today. That was, that was, that's points off the board. Can't get down the red zone twice, turn it over once, and then just not catch it in the end zone. Not a recipe for success. 22-7 is the score right now here in the fourth quarter. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looks like Bulls and Wheat's going to kick off over there in a minute. I believe that should be the next game over there. Let's see if we'll have Rebels again against Ride out. Doc got sacked in the backfield, so this pass won't matter. And that'll do it. Game over. That'll do it. Elite Rebels over the Maryland Titans, 22-7. Rebels now 2-0-1 on the year. They still got ride out coming up. And in the case of this Maryland Titans team, they fall to 3-1. They're done for the day. We'll catch them again in a couple weeks. Till then, this broadcast of the Owings Mills Flag Football League is sponsored by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk. Final score of this one, Elite Rebels 22, Maryland Titans 7. I'm Joey Blaze. We'll be right back for Bad Boys at Rideout. We are live from today's broadcast. Here in the Owings Mills Flag Football League. 
as the number two team in my B rankings, the Blunt Talk B rankings, Bad Boys. Semi-finalists last week at Ocean City. Take on Rideout, currently unranked in either rankings, but they have not appeared on the circuit this circuit season. 1-0-1 and and is the Bad Boys in league play. Rideout 0-1-1. See what happens here. Crucial matchup. Return coming. And pull right down. Here we go. Bit of a rematch of the Charm City Classic Championship at the B back in 2019. When members of the Bad Boys, as part of the Renegades, fell to ride out in the championship game. Right out wearing those same blue uniforms they had on that day. Bad boys wearing white just as the Renegades did. So, and we're on the exact field where that game occurred right here. We showed it earlier in the week. That matchup from Charm City Classic, right out Renegades. A lot has changed since then. Talk a little more about that in a second. We'll head over to the bad boys sideline. Jordan, your side, Jordan. Watch the crack. Watch the crack. Hey, Goose. He too tight. Watch the crack for him. Get in that box. Get in the box. Goose, get a little tighter. If you're watching, feel free to share. Share everywhere. Zell so left side, complete. They're going to call flag guard. And pull down at the end there. Oh, additional penalty coming out. He threw the hat. He threw the hat, so... I'm saying it's going to be on both sides now. So it's a replay it down as a result. You heard it. Hey, Gerald. Right out in the blue. Same blue, like I said, they wore in Charm City two years ago when they won it. Bad boys in white. Same field, actually, as that game from two years ago. Right? I just said the same thing the last time we lost, and I was on this field. This very field. This very field. And y'all wearing white again like you did that yeah, day. that was back when Jim was at quarterback. No offense, Jim. <laughs> Shout out to Jim. Right side. Come on, bro. You got to check that even down. Everybody, he just replaced him. Right. Right. Oh, the flag ain't coming off. What else you gonna do? Shit, the first kickoff. He called the body up. He ain't gonna no And the second play, he just talking to the dude. And then this play right there, he tapped Oh, my. Here we go. Today's broadcast of the Always Mills Flag Football League, sponsored by Cumulus Socks, presented by T Blood Talk. We got a rematch of Charm City 19 here. Fakes, step it up. Yeah, complete. Going back to that tournament from that time period and where both teams have been since. Clash of York, Renegades. Once again, the bride's made, not the bride. Fell short to Rampage in that one. Ride out had a tough go in that tournament. They were out pretty early, including an upset loss to Gusto Land in their debut that Saturday. Capital Classic, Renegades, runner up in the B to Scorpions. Ride out was not there. They took off that tournament. Ride out usually plays in Maffle. They were there last season. Went seven and one before falling to the WAC Rebels in the playoffs. Yeah, I just noticed that. I never changed it, Jamal. That's my bad. That's going to be left side incomplete. Busy team giving too much context and not working on the technical stuff. There we go. Let's get this fixed. Bad boys. I don't have a logo for them yet. If anyone does, let me know. So we give them white background for the jersey. There's right out. Here we go. Hey, double the gunners. Let's go, Rod. Get dirty. Let's go, Rod. You already know. I see somebody with a Nike hat on backwards. I'm going to him. Get dirty. Put your hands on something, baby. Put your hands on something. Where's your 
<laughs> what the fuck, Dwayne? Victor, come on, bro. I ain't see you throw one that hard under the whistle. I ain't even gonna lie. Hey, yeah, hey, y'all over there by the official? Y'all come up on my end. Third game of the day. We got one more after this. We'll play our favorite game, follow the winner. See what happens. If it's a tie, then I'll figure it out. Based on what the better matchup is. Look where he lined up. Off it. Back out. Tough Back choices, out, though, with Elite point. Rebels. And right out. Oh, we got this. And Bad Boys in Elite. Right side, complete. First down, right out. Two franchises, longtime staples in the Beltway region. Right out goes back to when I was still in high school, and we're about 15 years ago from that. Bad Boys, quote unquote, a new team, but a lot of experience in this game. And a combination of two of the better teams last year in the OMFFL. In the form of Renegades and Aftermath. Trying to play on the A level like Aftermath did, but with the success that Renegades has found to be in the last year. Renegades were number one entering nationals with a resume in the last two years from that franchise, which, along with Aftermath, formed the bad boys. Quarter finalists at Worlds fell to AFN, the last play. Clash of York 2 champion. Semi finalists in the OMFFL fall into the Scorpions. And semi finalists fall into the St. Louis Spartans at Nationals. Love on right side, complete. Right out, didn't really get much ball about last fall outside of Maffle play. They did end up at Nationals as well. Falling in the first round of day three after three and zero on day one, falling to the Maryland Titans in day three. Right out, sat out Ocean City last weekend. That's why they're not really ranked in either bracket so far. Let's see how it progresses. They haven't declared one. Usually they're in the B bracket, but. Right out played in the days of just one when everybody was A. They're going to throw bad at it. Fourth down coming up for right out. Game going on behind us. That's Bulls and Elite. We'll get an update on that when we can. Punt coming. It's going to bounce. Eat up. Oh, I missed. Miss pull. This play's still going. And finally, it's over. So here we go. Back on the field. So here come the bad boys offense. Bad boys last week in Ocean City. Right out the gate. Baez auto they had. Battle between two top five teams. That was a classic. Ross Collins had that game last week. A result of 21-14 in favor of the bad boys. And then they got a bit of a surprise from the Tri-State Spartans in a matchup that was very anticipated. A lot of talk on the uncut page about it. Bad Boys and Spartans, they had quite a duel. Spartans led 
going to the fourth quarter before the bad boys turned it around with an Eddie Thomas touchdown. Middle going to be pulled right down. Bad boys won that game 25-16, sending the Spartans to the C bracket where they were the runner-up of C. So they had to play runner-up of B day one. The runner-up of C, which was a borderline B team, probably could have made some noise in B had they played it in the Spartans. Didn't get any easier for the bad boys either on day two. They had a very tough slate last week. Right out the gate with a league team in the Bulls who knows them. They've seen them. They can game plan against them. And then afterwards, bad boys had a turn around and had a rematch from Nationals against the Long Island Ducks. Ref saying down here, I thought we were a little too far up the field. We're going to go to the right outside line for this drive. Bad boys ultimately fell short on the final drive, 7-6 to six to the rampage. And with that resume, like look at the strength of schedule they had all weekend. We're going to try to get off the field a little bit ASAP. We'll make it. We're going to take a second. We're close to the sideline. Get back on bad boys after the city in a moment. Leo going to throw it. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Well, you look at the resume the bad boys had last week on terms of opponents. You consider the number three team in B, Baez Auto, the runner up of the tournament. The number two team in the hypothetical C, but a team that Personally, I'd rank as close to being in that top 15 so far in the Tri-State Spartans. If there was a top 15 for B. So far, they have 10 ranked. We'll see how that changes as the year goes. Takes a snap. Middle. Go right down. They're going to throw a flag, too. Looks like there's going to be a tackle. And we'll go up the field. Bad boys as well. Beat a Bulls team that by the end of the tournament finished probably, I'd say, about between 10, 11th and 13th. Bit of the bottom barrel for day two for them. But still a tough opponent nonetheless for the team that showed a lot of improvement early on. They got something to put together so far. See how they grow throughout the year. And then, of course, you had the Long Island Ducks, number five team in the B rankings, and then the number one team in the B rampage. So, bad boys last week, quite a slate, as well as the number five team. As a sack happens there, you talk about it, that slate, bad boys last weekend played every other top five team at some point or another last week. They played number one in Rampage, number three at Baez, number four in the form of blanking, sorry. My brain. Nah, I may have messed up, maybe three of them, my bad. I can't count three of them. Rampage, Baez, Long Island Ducks. The only other top five team that did not play was Brick Squad. I was blanking on Brick Squad. They were a surprise last week. We'll see how they do going forward. Gonna go middle, batted down, incomplete. Rideout's coming to play. It's the squad that, had they played last week, definitely would have made some noise in Ocean City. Always a team that's up there, as mentioned. 2019 Charm City champions. Semi-finalists at Worlds. Fell to the Scorpions in the B semis. And what was a very close game. Who knows what would have happened against the Wolfpack in the championship. Semi-finalist in Maffle last year fell to the Whack Rebels. What you doing? Good man, beautiful day out here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad to be here. It's the place to be on Sundays. Watch the ball. Left side. That's gonna be a sack from behind. 
Fourth down coming up, and so far it's a defensive slugfest between these two. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's the ball, D-Line? What's the ball, D-Line? Thank you, Dave. You're welcome, sir. Watch the ball. Yeah, watch the ball. 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 Watch Gonna go over here, try to be opposite the officiating crew. So that way we don't run into each other. See down there, we got Elite and the Bull squaring off. Try to get an update on that in a moment. Zell takes it. He going left side. Complete, pull down. It's a big body on body matchup in terms of height. There's a mismatch in there. Good way to exploit it. The height differential. We should have a chance to win today. The other guys lost. Juan Chavez, he's playing three leagues this year. KFFL right now, he's up there playing. Saw him yesterday in action. Plays in another league in Williamsport. True warrior, even though they suck. Right side pitch, pulled down. Saw one team in blue be the team in white earlier. Can we see another team in blue be the team in white? Talk about the unknown with Ride out. It's mentioned tournament play has not been very frequent. They've only really played national tournaments. They haven't really played anything local in a bit. Last time we saw them locally really was that first clash of York tournament. And before that, you had to go out to Charm City about two months prior. COVID a bit tough on the team. But they're back here in 2021. Joining the OMFFL, longtime staple in Maffle. You've already missed my 10 references to it, Tivis. Pass in complete on that right side. Fourth down coming up. It would have been different if I was there, though, Tivis. Shout out Keith Giles, he's about to go live showcasing the KFFL Tri-State Spartans. They got a game with uh, Pure Chaos going on. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. I did say that. I made sure to say like a team in blue be the team in white already. Can we see it again? I also told Juan that uh, he made the right decision so far. No bounce back. They still got unremarkable over there. I guess that's something. Long season ahead. Long season ahead. Zero zero game here and Kenwood. Side low. 
Like, Time out, bad boys. Because as soon as I see that, I gotta take it outside, man. And force it inside. <laughs> Yeah, they have a good facility over here at Kenwood, Jeremy. Facility here is top notch. Got fields all across. Well, I guess a good setup for nine man, truthfully. Very secluded too. This, this the, the field's all the way in the back of the school. Almost tipped and intercepted. Going down the sideline. And a turnover for the bad boys. The hit on the sideline. Looks like a flag will come out for a late hit. And ride out will take over. So bad boys struggling here. Tough draw, but like I said, they played a lot of good opponents so far this year. Uh, you got to think since three weeks ago, they have played the likes of the Elite Rebels. 13 7 to Broad Axe, Vaughn. 14 7 the whole thing. See if Juan can get a win down here. As I mentioned, his other team lost. You know the team that I'm invested in. Okay. Yeah, can't win them all. It's not as bad as losing to the Killer Bees. That was the worst. Fake. And complete across that middle. Try to go a little further to the right. Twenty-two seven was the score between Rebels and Titans. Hold on, Jay. That was not the that was not the bees you were on. That was the bees that we played like last year in KFFL. That was the worst loss. Nah, I'm talking last year's bees before Lurry showed up and took over. Pre Lurry bees. That's different. Cutting up, pull down. Minute 38 to go. Coming up next, we'll follow the winner. You'll either get Bad Boys versus Elite, or you'll get Ride Out versus Elite Rebels. If it's a tie, I'm gonna go with Bad Boys and Rebels. Might still do that, we'll see. Ride Out, that's the thing about it. Ride Out's definitely sleeping on them, man. People are sleeping on Ride Out here to be. They can still go. That ain't true, Patty. I'd give it Timmy Prenny a praise. He got rookie of the year. He's a baller. I still think he needs to be a little back further back from Tom though. Gotta move him a little further back. I think he'll really take off using the same way Boone's used. I think that's gonna be a pull there. It's gonna be a hold. And he kicks the flag on top of it. That's another penalty, man. Two more flags come down, and that's just a massive mental error. You just can't do that. Held in the back and then followed up by kicking the flag, and that's just not what you want to do. You made one mistake. Don't follow it up with another one. Broad Axe seems like they're doing well in county. I haven't had a chance to watch their team yet, though. Like, I called a couple plays in the Warriors game, but I don't know what your all's county team looks like 100% yet. I have to go back and see. Might watch Keith's broadcast later, see what happened there. 
So that's going to be a big penalty. We're going way up the field here, about 30 yards. So the biggest gain of the day from both sides was that penalty just now. Tight defensive game so far. Both teams are getting the feel. The real deal is coming next month. June 27th, we'll have playoffs. Eight teams out of the ten here will make it. One day. Phil. Got bumped. Sack. Cross the middle, complete, open, money, touchdown, right out. And right out takes a 6 nothing lead on the bad boys. So in the rematch of the Charm City Championship from two years ago, right out strikes first. And what prior to that was a very tight competitive defensive game Turning point of that drive, though, the two penalties. It's one thing to call for holding. That's just, that happens, man. You can't really get too upset. Hands get stuck sometimes, but kicking the flag after. Got to be careful, man. Refs do not take any disrespect these days. They will call you out on it. And he got two flags on that one. So that leads to a ride out score. They're about to be up 6 nothing on bad boys. Extra point pending. Ball down. That kick is up and no good is the call. So the score gonna be six nothing in favor of ride out. I think he said 25, so we'll head to the bad boy sideline. Maybe said 45. My hearing ain't the best. No, oh, no, you got two, you good. Third game of the day here in Owings Mills. Number two in the B, right out versus, and that's B nationally, by the way, for my rankings. That's not this, just in this region. Versus right out, a team always in the thick of things. Haven't made much noise in the last couple of tournaments. They did get to the semis of Worlds. Didn't play much in 2020 due to COVID. Thank you, Jeremy. We'll have some kind of bonus coverage later in the day. We'll let you know about it. Six nothing in favor of ride out. Leal. And complete. Sauté. Sauté Barry. What you doing this weekend? You playing anywhere? As mentioned, this is the third game of the day. We'll have one more. We'll follow the winner. But if it's a tie, I'm going to default to the Elite Rebels getting the game because they won earlier. We'll check on Elite Bulls in a moment. That looks like a catch. Yes, sir. Zach reels it in. We'll head down the field. Bulls look like you're celebrating down here. Bulls just got a safety. Uh, yep, that is a safety by the Bulls on Elite. So two points to the Bulls. 
There's only one elite team right here between those two, and that's the Rebels. You all should play elite for the rights to the word elite in the name. That's the elite over there? Yeah, that's them in the, uh, well, the blue and the yellowish. <laughs> they're both wearing blue. Looks like they're down. We have a tough first go. First year team up here. Tay Barry, you got misfits at five? All right. Tay going against the misfits. Looking forward to that. Maybe y'all see me down there. We'll see. We got a long day ahead. They're still arguing that safety call over there, but we'll see. <laughs> Taking a bit. Looks like they're going to move the line. Leo backing up. Sack City. This ride out defensive front is bringing it. Timeout is called. Four seconds left. Six to nothing to score here for ride out. Timeout. What I was about to say, I don't think the, the officials over there thought it was half, but the official here had timeout. So, oh man, don't think they heard him on the field. Got an update from our brother league, KFFL teams, Tri-State Spartans. They've been making a name for themselves over here. Hope to see them out here in OMFFL one day. They're up right now 13-0 on pure chaos over in some other league. Played this bad boys team last week. 6-0 bad, uh, 6-0 ride out, ride out, yeah. We'll zoom in. Right side, or left side rather complete. And pull right down. That should be half. I do believe. One second, all right. All good, all good. Well, there we go. That is half. So, yeah, that's halftime. Score is for six nothing right out. We're gonna go check in on this uh, Bulls Elite game real quick. Bulls one and two coming in. Elite zero oh and two. Elite just trying to climb out of the basement and put the Bulls down there with them. Remember, only eight teams make it, so it's a crucial matchup for both sides. Trying to get out of that bottom two spot. Boy, gonna step up, and I believe he is set. Bulls or Bulls are up seven nothing. All right, so they're at half over here. We got seven nothing here. Are the Bulls gonna really start here? Oh yeah, looks like it. All right, so they'll start at the twenty. We're gonna have a first to goal right off the bat. So Suns over here. Let's try to get a shot in the end zone. This game's at half, six nothing is the score between bad boys and bright out. Looks like they just called whistle. We'll get at least a play here.
getting pulled right down. Looks like they're about to resume here, so let's hit the field. So Bulls, they're up 7-0 on Elite. Trying to go 2-0 on the day. Get to 500 going into week four. Bad boys just broke down the huddle. Here we go. Second half underway. Third quarter underway, six and nothing right out. <laughs> Second half starting. Kickoff coming. Third quarter underway. Here comes the return. Pulled down, so a nice start there for the bad boys. Six nothing, third quarter. One more game to go. We'll follow the winner, and if it's a tie, we'll default to the Rebels and Rideout game. The lead, they're down over there, seven nothing to the Bulls, but the Bulls, they're going to punch it in. Two games left in the day, of course. Bad Boys and Elite, or sorry, Bad Boys and Elite, and Ride Out and the Elite Rebels. Another week here in the OMFFL. Three more weeks to go in the regular season. And then we got playoffs, and then we're done for the summer. Nine-man flag football action here in Essex. Leo running to the left, turning up, pulling down. in the air, incomplete. Second half of this game, week three of the Omi's Mills flag football season. Bad boys in the white, right out in the blue. This game presented to you and sponsored by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk. Here on Joey Blaze, I am your host, Joey Blaze, for this matchup. Bad boys in the white, right out in the blue. a very tough schedule so far this season for the bad boys they face some very 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 good and competitive teams like take a look at the resume so far had to play venom usually about mid to lower tier in omffl but winner of course of the four state fours back in january They've had to play the Elite Rebels, who are top 10 in A currently, if there were to be a top 10 in my rankings. Just sitting outside that fifth position, behind the Misfits. They've also taken on Baez Auto, the number three team in, B, in my B rankings, as well as the Tri-State Spartans, who arguably is top 15 in B. You can make a strong case for them, certainly, after Ocean City. Intercepted, though. Right side, 
Coming back down the field. That's a pick six. That's a touchdown right out. And right out takes a 12 nothing lead on the bad boys. And a team that I don't have ranked at either division coming in. Mostly because they haven't really declared one. We'll see how they go as this next couple months go by. As mentioned, right out. They've only gotten about two games in so far since the spring season began. They fell to Rampage 16-13 to a few weeks ago. And then followed that with a tie against No Mercy in a game where they led 13-0. So right out definitely. Definitely is that kind of team, and right now they are creating some problems for the bad boys. Trey, come here. Yeah, we need one. Trey, come here. I'll take inside. Tell me. I'll take inside. All right, here we go. Come on. So we got 12 nothing, extra point pending. Right out defense bringing it. Ball down, kick out. Oh, that rush was there. It's going to be no good. And the score here in the third quarter is right out 12, bad boy zero. Change the spelling of bad boys, put the Z in there. They're trying to figure that out for a bit. So 12 nothing right out. Off of the pick six. Ball star coming. No, oh, incomplete. Wow. Well. Lil. Bobbled, complete. Pulled down. They're not getting very far. Matt Lou. Intercepted again. This one going down the field. Touchdown right out. 18 to nothing. They're making a statement right now. Two 
Two pick sixes here in the third. And suddenly it's 18 nothing right out. So they're gonna go for two and we're gonna go check on the Bulls elite game. So end of the third quarter. We're gonna go head over for bonus coverage, uh, Bulls versus Elite. If Bad Boys comes back, we'll do something. Otherwise, we're gonna go check on that game. Right now, this one, not looking good for the Bad Boys. Three score lead. And the rematch right now, going to ride out. Zell. Anchor blade. 18 nothing. So 18 nothing is the score. We'll give bad. Give the bad boys one more chance. 18 nothing the score right now. A pick just happened down there. Hold on, let's try to zoom in on it. That's still going, actually. Thought it might be a pull there. Going all the way. That's going to be a touchdown for the Bulls. And I think they just wrapped that one up on Elite. So after the two pick sixes here, there's one over there. And it looks like the Bulls are gonna get a second victory. Right out up 18 nothing. Mercy roll in effect here after this drive. And a bad day for the bad boys so far. They got a lead still. So an opportunity to end the day on a high note, but this is not what they had in mind for this ride out game. Not gonna get there, so give them one more chance, see what happens here. Three scores is usually our mercy rule for my broadcast. Penalty already. Sun's covered. We're going to go behind Leal. Eighteen nothing here at the start of the fourth quarter. Bulls just got another score down there. This a few minutes ago, we saw it. I think they're up two scores now on Elite. So it looks like they're going to go two and zero on the day. Elite, they still got the bad boys. And looks like we're going to get Elite Rebels right out here. Lil, hard to see around the bodies. First down is what it is. Lil stepping up, running himself. Pitches the back. Pull down. Bad boys on the go.
Coming up next, we'll follow the winner. You'll either see Riot Out versus Elite Rebels, or you'll see Bad Boys versus Elite. Pull down left side. Man in motion. Sun's starting to come out again, so we might just switch angles. And that's incomplete. Go ahead to the first sound line. With the potential of the sun peeking back out. Third game today. We still got one more left. And then we'll be back here in Essex in about two weeks for more. About two straight weeks, and then off for about two straight, and then back for three straight before we wrap up this 2021 spring season. Pull down. Seven and running. Right out up by 18. They got not much to worry about. Time is not on the bad boy side, however. I think Zach has that. Finally pulled down, first down. We'll head to the end zone. Mentioned last shot here for the bad boys. You gotta hurry up for them. Right out looking good though. You gotta say, a team that no one really talks about in the circuit is right out. Let's not forget what this team is capable of doing. And seeing some of the added pieces we saw at the beginning of the broadcast, let's just say this adrenaline is about to rush when it comes to this team. Drill going to move up. He's going to be pulled right down. I believe the Bulls are about to score, if not have already, on the lead again. That they just called it. No time out of there. But Bulls, they're like they're going to get a win there. Leo. And is that a pick? Whoa. Interference is the call. And we'll stay in the back of the end zone. One more game after this. And then I'll be back next Saturday. We'll be in Shippensburg once again. Keystone Flag Football League action. They'll have about four games that day. I'll be back for the last one or two. Right side ankle plate. Second down approaching. 3.15 to go in the game. Remember, it will be caught at two minutes if the score remains. Giving bad boys one more chance. Turn around. Three minutes to go, though. They got to hurry. I do believe at two it is caught. If it is over 17. Let's see what happens there. Down at about the two right now, trying to get in. Lil takes it middle, incomplete. They got an open guy here. Yeah, that guy, that guy. You, you know you don't want to run. 
225. I think I played with that like 20 years ago in the playground. Yeah, this is, this is, they found this one. Get a look at that thing. Little there. That thing there. Dang, it's seen better days. It has seen better days. Third down coming. 18 nothing in the third. Right out trying to make a statement here of a shutout. Oh, almost a catch, but almost picked. Almost went off the hands and picked off. And two minutes has hit. No fourth chance for the bad boys. And the donut is official. Right out takes the number two team in the Blunt Talk B rankings, and they take them and beat them 18 0. Two pick sixes by that defense. That pass rush, excellent performance all around. We'll see how they do in a moment when they take on the Elite Rebels. Today's broadcast of the Owings Mills Flag Football League is sponsored to you by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blood Talk. We'll be back for that next one. Elite Rebels, Ride Out, it's coming up next. Owings versus Ride Out, final game of the day here at OMFFL. Somewhat of a rematch of the Maffle Semis last year when the WAC Rebels took down Ride Out. See how Ride Out rebounds this year. Tough 2020, but so far 2021, this team's still showing they can play with anybody in, in this area. Just got a big victory over Bad Boys. Beat them 18-0. That's the number two team in my B rankings. They just blew out. Now they get an elite Rebels team outside the top five in A and already making a statement. This Rebels team, they put in work, so here we go. Measuring stick for Riot Out. They took on No Mercy, another A team in our league earlier in the season, and ended up tying them at 13. I deleted 13 nothing for the longest time. Side, incomplete. And it's shared around real quick. Elite Rebels ride out. Final game of the day. Before we take about two weeks off here in Owings Mills. And we'll come back on the 16th. I should say a week off. We'll be back in two weeks, rather. Bulls knocked off Elite earlier. Elite now taking on the bad boys. They're trying to get their first win of the year. They're 0-3 right now. Yeah, that's not a place to be at, especially now with the Bulls have a two have a de facto three-game lead on them for that bottom spot, our final playoff spot. And Venom, of course, they got a one a two-game lead de facto over them as well. See how Elite rebounds. Meanwhile, this Elite Rebels team, a little bit of a different story so far. Holston. DJ gonna fire that. Oh my. Oh my, what a catch. First down for the Rebels. Oh, 
And a good start against the rideout team that just knocked off the bad boys. Both teams coming in. Ride out. They're 1-1-1 one, one, and one now. They're about 500. Rebels are sitting at about 2-0-1. Oh, so you got yourself here a very good matchup. Two teams jousting first position in the standings. One team in the Elite Rebels. You're getting a lot of praise right now. A lot of talk about them as an A team and what they could do going forward after a stellar performance in Ocean City. Halston, Halston's got space to run. He's gonna pitch it back. They got a pull. And they're gonna be down. Shy of the end zone. Two zero and one of the Rebels. Knocked off the Bulls in the first game. Second game, they tied the bad boys. And then just about an hour ago, got the win over the Maryland Titans, giving them their first loss of the year. Right out, 1-1-1. One, one, one. Fell short against Rampage in what was an absolute battle last week. Well, two weeks ago. And then ended up with a tie and no mercy. Halston did it right. Good, good. DJ running in. He's got a touchdown. Rebels. And the score six enough, and they're going to go for two. motion Holston throws it up at complete there will be a flag however take this time to tell you that today's broadcast of the Owings Mills Flag Football League is sponsored to you by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk fourth and final game of the day here in Owings Mills Elite Rebels in the black, right out in the blue. Then after this, we'll have about two weeks off before we come right back here to Kenwood for week four. Halfway through the regular season already. Snap, Holston. Got it. Eight nothing, Rebels. As mentioned earlier, the Rebels portion of the Elite Rebels were all together as part of the WAC Rebels when they beat ride out last season in the MAFL semifinals. We were there for that game. 14-12 was the final. Ride out and entered the game 7-1. and one. They were the one seed coming in. Wack was about 1-7, but had Dio at quarterback who entered the tournament as three-time MAFL champion in a row before the Rebels fell to Blackhawks in the championship. Got one side four wide. Sun coming in my eyes a little bit. Hopefully we'll move the field from here. Zell. I'm gonna throw a complete. There we go. Right, I'm not skipping a step. 
defense a little struggle coming out, but against a quarterback like TJ Holston, he's getting a lot of compliments from the A circuit. It's a tough matchup every time. Comes the whistle. Did you see that old Whack Rebels jersey from way back? Whistle's going to take us back a few steps. Right out coming up here from Maffle. Part of the OMFFL this season. Long time staple in that league. One minute left in the game, yeah. <laughs> nah, we still got a bit of a ways. One minute and a quarter. It's always a fast one. Oh, no. oh, complete. Second down coming up. Right out victorious earlier, 18 0 over the Bad Boys. The Lee Rebels over the Maryland Titans, 22 7. Both coming in with big wins and what is a very deep OMFFL. This is a stacked league. You talk about the names in this league Misfits, Elite Rebels, No Mercy, Rampage, Bad Boys, Ride Out. Maryland Titans, years of experience coming in there. That's cool. Yeah, that's quarter. Say, just ask him if it's ball game. <laughs> so, at the end of the first quarter, the score is 8 0 in favor of the Rebels. And you take a look at the teams outside of that in the lower part of the league. Bad teams like uh, Elite, they're trying to come in the up and up. Trying to get something together over there. They're right now playing the bad boys. You got Venom as well. They're always a tough draw, always in it. A team that may not get the win every time, but they'll be in it to the very end. Sacto MFFL. A lot of great competition here. As mentioned, the league's got about three A teams. Four B teams overall. A team that got to the C bracket in Venom. They usually competes at B. And two teams who are not officially in any category yet. Elite, who has not yet to appear in a tournament this year. That's been nine-man sanctioned. And Rideout, who usually plays B. Let's see what they do going forward, though. They don't want to run that option. That's beautiful every time. Got to love the play. Pulled right down. A little bit closer to me, but I avoided it. Third down coming up here for ride out. I got to. TJ talking about that game with Rebels and Lions last week. What a classic it was. Man. And guess who missed it? Man emotion. On back, got about three receivers over there. Pitch again, right side, turn it up. Pull right down. 
Rebel say short, fourth down coming up. No declaration from ride out. One tight, three wide on the left. One back as well. Gonna be completing that right side. Pull it down. First down, right out. Fourth and final game of the day. We'll be back in action in two weeks, as mentioned here in Owings Mills. But I'll be back in action next Saturday in Shippensburg. We'll have four games for you there. Well, complete left side. <laughs> Second down coming up. That's defense. That is excellent defense. Can't hate on that. Touchdown, right out. And the score now is eight to six. Four forty five and running. Was this two point conversion. They gotta hurry up, so anyway. Time out right out, we'll make it. Four twenty five left here in the second quarter. Ride out, Elite Rebels. Right out wearing their Charm City Blues. The very uniform they wore on this field two years ago. This very field, actually. Two years ago when they beat Renegades to win the last Charm City Classic B Championship. They're looking to repeat. Come to OMFFL, win their tournament, win their league. Add to a long line of great achievements. 
and the 15 year run that ride outs had. Long time staple of DMV. Elite Rebels, you know, they got some guys in the WAC Rebels who played A for years. And some new blood as well coming in. That's going to go, uh, that's going to be picked off. Look, you got it off. Wow. Okay, so no, they're dead. So 8 6. So 425 remaining. Scores 8 to 6. Those tuning in, Rebels in the black, ride out in the blue. Rebels, we talked about the tough draws ride outs had so far. They've had to go through it. In the last few weeks, ride out, they played Rampage, they played No Mercy, they played the Bad Boys. That's number one in B. A currently would be a top 10 B18, technically speaking, at the moment, and No Mercy. Then, of course, the number two team in B, Bad Boys. They got an unranked A team and the Elite Rebels, but they're right outside that top five. They're in it. Elite Rebels, though, they, they've been through the gauntlet so far. Started off a Bulls team that's always chippy and ready to go. And then took on to tie the Bad Boys, number two in B. Lost to the Misfits in OC, the number five team in A. Right side complete. Pull down. Two fifty to go. Now two forty. Lee Rebels, though, like I said, they've had quite a bit of a draw. Bulls, Bad Boys. Then you get to Ocean City, you got Misfits, number five in A. You had the Rollers, who came in at number five in A. Lions, number, who is currently number four in A. And Bad Boys, Never an easy week up here. Never an easy week at all when you're playing on that high level of nine-man flag football. And the best competition of the DMV is here. Tight, four wide. Pulse to the right. Hold down, excellent defense. Great pursuit by that D line. It'll be fourth down.
Austin. Complete right side. First down for the Elite Rebels. One minute to go. Up by two here in the second quarter. Snap, Austin. Himself, T.J. Austin. Out of bounds. Twenty three seconds. Snap Halston. Incomplete. Down here, bad boys just scored. We will find Zach. And I'll check on that when I get a chance. Fourth down coming up for the Elite Rebels. Tough matchup of ride out. Like I said, it's been a tough month in general for this team. Played all three of the top five A teams coming in in Lions, Strong Island, and High Rollers. Had to play the new number five in Misfits last week. That's all in just one weekend. They've had to play the number two team in B, the number eight team in B. A team in Rideout who's always, always in the thick of things when it comes to B. But no declaration on their division yet this year. Usually they're a B team. After going one and done at Nationals and one and done as well in Maple last year. Got to wonder where Rideout is entering this year. So far, though, they have shown that they could definitely still compete. They are definitely still up there. They just gave it to the bad boys a few minutes ago. They played Rampage tough. They almost knocked off No Mercy. Should have had No Mercy, really. And right now, they're matched up against an Elite Rebels team that is trying to live up to that name, Elite. Snap, Halston. He was right. Yeah, that's going to be incomplete. No saying touchdown. Oh, that was low. I thought for a second I might hit the ground, but they're saying he caught it. I don't know if I pulled back too soon or not. No, they're going to say incomplete. So at halftime, the score here, the Elite Rebels lead right out 13 to, or 8 to 6. Sorry, I looked at something else. This broadcast sponsored to you by Cumulus Socks. Presented by Team Blunt Talk, week three of the 2021 spring OMFFL season. Rebels lead right out. Eight elite versus bad boys. 
Bad boys up 12 nothing. Ah, boy, you gonna move around, trying to get out of there. Throws that up. Oh, that's a play. That's a catch. Wow. And a big game for Elite. Timeout called. Run through them. By them. Looks like they're still at half over here, so we'll keep following them for a moment. We won't go too far though, because he'll start any second. Right out just had their breakdown in the huddle. We're down to two quarters left of football. 12 nothing here in Bad Boys. And Rebels lead right out 8-6. Second half underway there. Week three of the 2021 Owings Mills Flag Football League season. Elite versus Bad Boys here. Looks like we're waiting for the kickoff for the second half there. Back. But we have no action yet, so just to let you know, you are currently looking at Elite versus Bad Boys. Bonus coverage on the other field. 12 0 to score. Floyd the company drive, and he's going to run it himself. Ah. Uh, he's going to be pulled down shy of the end zone. See if they're back here. Yes, they are. Looks like kickoff's coming, so let's head over here for the second half. Elite Rebels versus Ride Out. Rebels come into this game 2 0 and 1. Victories over Bulls. And victory over the Maryland Titans with a lone tie to the Bad Boys. Right out, they're coming in 1-1-1. One, one, one. Lone win to the Bad Boys. Lone loss to Rampage. And a lone tie to being against No Mercy. It's matching. Been a tough month, long month for this Rebel squad. They had to play arguably four out of the top teams in A last weekend and Miss Fitch, Strong Island, Rollers and the Lions, along with their other league competition. Turning down here left side. Pull down, here we go, second half underway. Right out in the blue, the Elite Rebels in the black. Too tight, back, direct snap, great play call. Pull right down immediately. Two tight, one back. And it looks like we have two receivers on that side. And that complete.
yourself. Echo play. Come out, ride out. Seven oh four remaining. go. Crucial play for both sides. Zell. And complete. Rebels will take over. Hey, boy. Hey, somebody. I know. He's only beat if you catch the ball. That's true. All right. Check it out. Check it out. Hey, hey. Holston. Incomplete. Second down coming up. Eight to six here in the third quarter. Rebels will probably be glad to get a break next week. Six game they've already had since last Saturday. Back in two weeks, more action. Show will be back in about nine days inside the OMFFL. We'll take off this week with no games next Sunday. And we'll return on the following Tuesday, nine days from now. And that's going to be complete. So next show will be on May 11th. That'll be the next episode of Inside the OMFFL. Rest of the season, of course, May 16th, we'll have some league play. May 23rd, league's currently off, but that is also the week of the Timothy Rich Foundation tournament here in Owings Mills. Nine man, 12 to 14 age groups. We'll have coverage of that. As well as OMFFL five man, that's set to debut in two weeks. And then, of course, we will wrap up the season in June. Three straight weeks after AC. It'll be a gauntlet to the finish. Austin to that left side. And out of bounds he goes. We're going to watch that elite bad boys game. Floyd's running for his life over there. That elite team has no line at all. It's bad. 
That game's a two score lead in favor of bad boys. They should be able to get the win there if that holds up. Rebels in this game up by two here in the third. A little bit past halfway through, I'd imagine. Holston, left side. Hold right down. Mentioned this is the last game of the day. We'll have some more nine man action for you next Saturday at Shippensburg. Keith Giles and I, Team Blunt Talk, Try Hard Sports presents the Keystone Flag Football League. Keith just went off the air. He was down Williamsport, Maryland, calling another league. Had some action over there today. Keith will be on the air Wednesday night. You'll check out his show. That'll be on. We'll have that one for you. The Extra Yard of Keith Giles, Wednesday night at 8.30. All single make a quick move at the middle. He's going to be pulled down. Right out saying he's short. Rebels say he got it. Looks like Bad Boy's going in for a third touchdown on the Elite. Rough start for the Elite. They're about to go with four in a second. And that will be the third touchdown for Bad Boys over there. I would have turned it, but there wasn't a good angle of it. He had to be in the way of the shot, even if I turned it. So Bad Boys are up three scores. They're going to get the dub. They're going to go on the year, a record of 2-1-1. One, one. Rebels are 2-0-1 oh, right now. Hold right down, having a nice, slow, methodical drive down the field against this rideout squad who is in the thick of things in the OMFFL. Very loaded league, as mentioned. Three teams have declared for A so far for this league. No mercy, misfits, and elite rebels. We hit the fourth quarter. On the B end, you got about five teams. Albeit Venom finished in the C bracket last weekend. Right out in the lead, neither have played the Claire. Right out, as mentioned, they're usually a B team. But they played back in the days before there was an A and B. So they definitely know what it takes to win on a high level. And know what's out there. A lot of veterans in this game on both sides. Anybody see Milton? Elite has not shown up for a tournament yet. They were supposed to be in the original AC. We'll see if they pop up. Probably going to play B, if anything. All part of a very, very deep OMFFL league this season. Hey, Millen, are y'all here? Damn, I just wanted to say hi. I just wanted to say hi. Jesus, man. I'm asking your teammates. They're looking at me like I'm the enemy. I don't know why none of them have any, don't have any sacks on my side. I don't know. I don't know. Talk to them. Here we go. Fourth quarter beginning. Two point game. Looks like bad boys have wrapped it up over there. So this is about it for today. And we'll see where the rest of my day goes. See how I feel when I get to the car. Might have some more coverage. False start is called on that O line. Shout out to my guy, Keith Giles, over at Try Hard Sports. He's about to go live. Just did for Warriors versus Unremarkable. Yeah. 
Alston gonna fire it up. Almost intercepted. The second half of the game sponsored to you by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk. Week three of the 2021 spring OMFFL season. Elite Rebels in the black lead right out in the blue, eight to six. Fourth quarter, final match of the day. About a little bit in, I'd say we're under 10. Bad boys in the lead. We're about to go final any minute. Bad boys are up by three scores now. Have a recap in a moment, Kent. Timeout is calling. Here's the recap coming. Start of the day out. Venom and the Titans. Titans with the win, 14 to 8. To go 3 and 0 on a year. Venom falls to 1 and 2 with that one. Then we went to two fields. Had one to start the day. Two gains that happened. Over here, it was Elite Rebels 22, Maryland Titans 7. Rebels with that win go 2-0-1 coming into this game. And on the opposite end, for the Titans, they fall to 3-1. Over on the other field, don't got a final, but Bulls are up by two scores. I left the field against the Lee. Lee didn't really move the ball after that. So Bulls get the win. They're first of the season. They're 1-2 now. They're looking a little better as the season's going on. Team to look out for. You might not want to sleep on come playoffs. Might be able to sneak one out. Man in motion. Got it right down and complete. And in the most recent games we just had over on this field, right out over the bad boys, 18 to nothing. Right out with the win. 1-1-1 one, one, and one coming into this game. As mentioned, 2-0-1 oh, is the Elite Rebels, so... If Rideout gets the win, they'll have the tie, but the tiebreaker. If the Rebels get the win, they have a de facto three-game lead on Rideout in a head-to-head -head with the two wins plus the win over Rideout here for the tiebreaker. So very critical game between both sides early on. And on the other field, Bad Boys, they just wrapped it up on the Elite. They're up by three scores now. So they're going to go... This TJ's gonna go to the right. Ooh. Sacks, what they're saying. Damn Dame got back there. Looks like Rod out will take the field. That was fourth, so we'll head to the sideline. Sun's out. Game I skipped and forgot about actually was Bulls and Venom. Bulls beat Venom. Didn't get a final on that one. Bulls are now two and two. They could be easily be three and one. We talked about how well they played last year at the city. That's a team that getting interesting right now to watch. Looking forward to seeing what that Bulls team can be as the season goes on. Seeing how they grow. Venom, they're down to one and three. They got a de facto two-game lead over Elite, who they have the tiebreaker over. Elite look like they're going to go 0-4. Tough, tough first season for them. Left side incomplete. Let's get a better angle. Ramp. Six minutes to go. Rampage is on by. They're 201 coming into next week when they return. Misfits, they're on by. They're one and one on the year. No mercy. Right now they're having a tough one. They're currently sitting at 01 and 2 on the year. Hey, 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 quick, quick to, Hey, quick to the tight end. Quick to the tight end. Zell to the left, got it. I was trying to get out your way. Hey, third down, let's go, D. Third down coming. Tell me, I'm trying to duck him. Hey, what you got to do about this man bullshit, man? Man, 
Third down. Watch the ball up front. Watch the ball. Third down coming up. We'll have more games next week in Shippensburg, and then we'll be back in Naomi's Mills two weeks. Oh, quarter of the day. Here we go. About halfway through it. Started at 9 a.m. Wrapping up here, close to 1.30. Let's, let's try to go this way. Proceed! Oh, good pull. Right side, pull good down. Pull, We'll try quarter, fourth down coming up. Rebels defense playing excellently in this game. Try to get the field, see how it goes. Critical fourth down coming up for a ride out. They definitely be close in their loss so far to Rampage, close in this one to Rebels. A team that definitely can't compete. They've tried for 15 years now. In fact, one of the first circuit teams I played against was Rideout out six years ago, Virginia Beach, as part of the Red Knights. Zill on right side, complete. Wow! Right there, dead on arrival. DOA by this defense. Rebels take over. That was just excellent defense on so many levels. The tight end fought again. Hey, call him out. The tight end over there right now. Two missed blocks. Two missed blocks. So Rebels the ball. They got a first. 251. If they get another first, they can definitely run this clock out. But they got a touchdown in mind, I'd imagine. Try to put some pressure on right out, solidify this game. 8-6 is the score. It's been a slugfest so far between these two. Holston. Right side complete. Pull down. Two minutes has been called. <laughs> Here we go. After this game, we'll see where I go. Olsen. Incomplete. Update from our guy Keith Giles. He's live over somewhere else with Warriors and Unremarkable on Try Hard Sports. Warriors lead Unremarkable 14 0. Man of motion. Austin. Sack City. Timeout is called. 137 to go. Bad boys in the lead. They're shaking hands. Bad boys, I would imagine, got the win there. It didn't look good when we were over there for a second. 
So Elite now, they're 0-4. Bad Boys, they're about, I want to say, 2-1-1 one one now. Not a good spot to be if you are Elite. Remember, not everybody makes playoffs. Bottom two are cut out coming in. Looks like Elite might be... They still got time to get to at least six and four, but it's a rough go so far. We'll have the standings coming up next episode of Inside the LMFFL. Austin. Fires. And incomplete. And here comes ride out. So here we go. Eight six, less than two. One twenty nine. One twenty nine. Hey, keep them in Minute twenty nine left for ride out. Let's see what they can do. They already upset the bad boys. Can they upset the elite rebels? Be a big ball game. All right. Right out trying to get the win here late. So far though, they've made quite a statement joining the OMFFL. Zell. Sacked. They got no timeouts. I heard 107, so they've already lost about 22. They'll lose almost 30 by the time this starts. We're under a minute, I do believe now. Zell. It's going to be another sack. They still have no timeout, so the clock's going to keep running. This Rebel D line is just eating. Right out losing yards, losing time. Might lose the game. So, that's incomplete. Fourth down, so. Four for two cones coming up. This will do it if they can't convert here. Motion. Last chance for ride out. So. Oh my. Oh my. What a catch. But they're saying he's short anyways. So that'll do it. Elite Rebels get the dub. They go to 3 0 and 1 on the season. They knock off right out, eight to six. Right out falls to one, two, and one. We'll recap all the games and then we'll go home. In the morning, it was in the very first game, Titans 14, Venom 8. And the next game after that, two of them at once, we had Rebels 22, Titans 7. And then the other game, it was Venom over Elite. Or sorry, it was Bulls over Venom. I was thinking about it last week, two weeks ago rather. Then the next game after that. So the Titans, by the way, Maryland Titans, they finished one and one or three and one in the season. 
Next two after that, it was right out, 18, bad boys, nothing. And then the other field, we saw as Bulls defeated the Elite. Bulls now two and two on the year at the end of today. And just a moment ago, we wrapped it up over here. Bad boys over Elite. Bad boys, they're now at a record of two, one, and one. Elite now 0 and 4. And just a moment ago, the Elite Rebels over ride out eight to six. Rebels, they're now 3-0 and 1 on the year. Ride out falls to 1-2 and 1. We're going to get ready and sign off. The Owings Mills Flag Football League is brought to you by Cumulus Socks and presented by Team Blunt Talk. We're going to sign it off here today, and we'll see you very soon, I do believe. We'll let you know. Till then, I'm Joey Blaze saying good afternoon from Kenwood High School. We'll see you again May 16th on this field. More flag football action to go. We have only just begun. See you then.